Hello and welcome fellow Vikings to episode 19 of the Valheim Let's Play Survival Series. And in today's episode, I am joined again by my brother Soulgazer to work on building some little dock houses and expand this little lake town fishing village that you all saw in episode 18. So since episode 18, Soulgazer has done quite a lot of add-ons. So Soulgazer, give us the tour of what you've done since 18. All right, so since 18, I have created this little bait shop. Uh, so that's going to be there. I went to the trader, got definitely <laughs> fishing bait for, you know, quite some time. Uh, Lots of created... bait. We actually went to the trader, and this was the first time we bought so much stuff that the trader gave us the notification that he was out of inventory. So you bought so much bait that he was out of inventory. So let us know in the comments below if the trader restocks on inventory. This is the first time we've ever had something like that happen. I'm assuming he does, but oh. that was an interesting little little thing. Bought, bought enough bait to catch over 4,000 fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. So but it's pretty cool. And there's, there's plenty of fish in here, uh, which is why I created this little little tiny uh, fishing hut just so you could look out and do Definitely. some fishing. Beautiful location then, for that, yeah. This thing, this this little uh, bridge, is going to go up to a balcony that is going to be attached to the inn and tavern that we are building right over here. So this comes up, and we're still working on this. This is work in progress, but we've got a nice little portal hub over here rather than just having them all yeah. sprawled out. And yeah, the plan plan going forward is build a little little blacksmith and bakery and then... Yeah, just Yeah, keep, so keep today will be a nice little building episode. Um you've got the the downstairs kind of laid out here and then you've got stairs that will go to the upstairs where the inn uh the little bedroom will be. Um yeah. it'll be right up here and it made sense to do the stairs on the outside of the build rather than on the inside just because we wanted to maximize the floor space but not have the build feel too heavy and whatnot so meanwhile i've been collecting a lot of stone and wood over here so i may actually go chop a little bit more and you can continue working on that and i'll help you out and this will be a building episode for you all so sit back relax and i hope you enjoy all right i am in the meadows biome now to chop some more wood and i'm going to activate the elder which is for faster wood cutting um Soulgazer uses this one a lot for when he goes out woodcutting and says it works extremely well. So today we're going to try it with my level 4 iron axe and see how fast I can shred these trees. So that's just the iron axe without the elder activated. Now we're going to activate the elder. So you see we're doing like 38 damage and I always love how fast my iron axe does. There you go. We can just one shot them. 79 damage to a tree. That's insane. Jeez. We're gonna get wood in the blink of an eye. <laughs> All right, I have some more wood to add to our collection. <laughs> We've got plenty of good stone and wood, and it looks like... Nice! You already got the, the second floor on. Um, yeah. And then I guess what do we need for dark wood doors? I'm guessing that's what you want to put on the front, right? Yes, yeah, uh, the one resource I did not have was iron. Okay, I actually have a little bit of that in my chest upstairs, so I think oh, it's perfect. iron iron nails or just iron? Uh, I, th I think it's iron. Let me double check. Well, I'll grab some iron, some tar, and some wood. That'll stack of wood in there. And let's get these beautiful little dark wood doors up on the front here. I'm guessing you just want them right... Uh, directly, directly on the front. Yeah, yeah, uh, just kind of like this. Two big old doors welcoming you in. Perfect. Yeah, that looks quite nice. I like how you did the little stone patio out front. All right, so for the second level here, um, we we're gonna go up three meters uh, from where the roof kind of comes in. So I'm gonna do a little half or a little one meter, and then a two meters stacked on top of that and this will be kind of our long loft space uh, that will continue and then obviously because this is the door this will also continue all the way up perfect just like so and we'll have 
the roof uh, kind of coming in at an angle here, and then you said you were going to be doing the roof um, sticking out over the entryway there, so we're actually just going to continue the center of this up, and then these guys. Are you going to do kind of the 26 uh, degree faded into the 45 degree roof, uh, kind of like we did for the other two houses? Yes. Yep. All right. Just want to be sure of that, so we'll add a little 45 there. That'll look really nice. And add the little cross. Of course, we'll be adding all the roof trim and everything else uh, in a bit, but starting with that, that is definitely looking pretty nice. So that'll be roughly the size of our little balcony here. And it looks like... Looks like you've got the deck there, so I'm gonna do two little 26 degree portions uh, for the roof here. And then we can okay. come out over that big deck. Now That's I think good. I will continue that chimney up a little bit more. So let me grab a bit of stone for that one. Perfect. And how I like to do a chimney for just the single hearth, which is the size of this fireplace, is first I am going to actually snap in uh, two of these guys, so we're bringing it in by one meter. And then I like to snap in stairs on the sides of it, uh, just like so and on the outside as well, but to bring it in. So the stairs kind of phase into each other, brings that nice transition from super wide chimney on the bottom to a nice little narrow chimney that continues poking up, and that should be enough smoke ventilation for what we need. So for this, I'm going to just put a little, little one meter. It looks like we're already out of stone. Stone gets eaten very fast when doing chimney builds. All right, and now I'll just continue building this uh, section of the chimney up a bit. And a good chimney is never a good chimney without getting smoked to death. So it is uh, it is normal to be smoked to death as you are building your first chimneys in Valheim. But as you can see, that's looking pretty nice. And I love what you're doing here. This is looking absolutely fantastic. So that'll Thank essentially you. be kind of... A secondary access to this upper balcony over the inn, which kind of continues into the fishing hut. And this is what kind of makes the vibe of our little fishing village here, is lots of little docks and miniature houses and railings and fishing poles and all this little, these little cute trinkets kind of scattered throughout the town to make it look mm. uh, very nice and livable, yet kind of uh, this like rickety hand-built vibe that we're going for here. Um, as the smaller fishing village, so that's definitely looking pretty good for the chimney. I think I'll start uh, doing some more of the second floor before I build that all the way up, but as you can see, that's how I like to do my chimneys. The smoke is still coming out, and the hearth seems to be lit and very happy down here, so this is definitely starting to come along really well. All right, so now I am working on the walls here for the uh, upstairs of the tavern. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim everything out that is going to become a wall, just like so. I'm going to continue the roof peak up right here. That is definitely looking pretty nice. And when I don't use one of these little uh, roof peak caps, um, I'll often just place a little beam like that, uh, just finishes off that roof peak really nice. And with that, uh, I will also build the chimney up another meter uh, when I grab some more stone. But otherwise, I kind of like how we've got a little bit of space uh, underneath that little roof peak until we end up hitting into the chimney. So I am going to actually utilize that by uh, taking two of these and placing them just like that, which will create the nice wall there. And I'm going to now trim it out for the roof um, of the final level here. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. And we were debating doing windows on this top level, but decided not to do windows just because we have so much open kind of indoor outdoor space for the decks and balconies and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in these walls with solid panels just to kind of add to the coziness. Give us a little bit of more um, of the wall space that we want and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to add those guys right there. And then finish off this roof peak right up to the top there, like so. And I already need another stack of wood here. But we still have enough. We actually probably have enough to finish off this build. You can see these little builds don't actually burn through too much materials. Soulgazer and I did make a tar run um, a few days ago, so we have a bit of that. Uh, which is definitely pretty good. So I'm also debating whether I want to have a little window from the upstairs looking down. And I think I do. That would actually kind of add to the character and be pretty nice. So for that, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the chimney side. Um, but that will actually create... I said no windows, but that'll create a little window right here, which looks pretty cool. So you can kind of look down and see the people who are... Uh, coming in the entry kind of put a little middle to it like so and then go ahead and put those guys on so now we have a full rim for the top of the build here and i'm leaving some little open spaces uh like there there and here uh for chests to go uh because those little open spaces just make for great little areas uh that chests can be placed and I think for this deck as well, I'm going to bring this whole thing in by one meter. And there you are, Soul Gazer, logging back on again. <laughs> um, I'm going to bring the whole thing in by another two meters there and put another roof panel. Because I'd like the entry here to kind of mirror the entry over there. That gives us a little more space in this section that could be for the bedroom. So... Let's just place another one of those, and one of those, and then for these, I'm going to destroy the angled beams here and replace them with these little 26 degree wall pieces, uh, just to kind of do a nice finish right there. And then again, putting the wall back together. And now we've got a nice mirrored entrance, one on this side, one on this side. And almost room enough for a little bed here and even a dragon bed over here. So you could kind of have two bedrooms in the upper level of the inn. So that is definitely starting to look really nice. And again, pretty soon I'll start kind of trimming out the front of the roof. Uh, like I like to do on a lot of my builds. And I just like to come out like I just did there. And then I like to use first the little 26 degrees on both sides like that. And then the 45 degrees, right above that. Just mimicking the roof as it is. Another cross piece. And that's how I like to do my little roof uh, overhangs. And then we can obviously begin placing all the sides. And what I like to do for my sides is just take these little 1 meter by 1 meter planks. Point them so that the little seam is facing outward. And just snap those to the sides. And as you can see, it just creates a really nice cleaned up edge to that roof. And we can also be adding shutters and windowsills and all that stuff. Really adds a lot to the builds. Gives it a lot more of that uh, three-dimensionality, if you will. Uh, just making things look really, really clean. There you go. Soulgazer just added some shutters. <laughs> Perfect. So, and then these two could even be closed. Uh, just to give us some space to walk up the stairs here. But it's just kind of nice for a lot of these Lake Town builds, um, especially to add the shutters, because shutters were not only just to kind of let in light, but also for protection um, as kind of a thing that they can close at night so that the the robbers or other, other uh, people can't break in and steal the food or the grain or anything like that. So they kind of add as a layer to uh, have protection, to keep warm in the cold, not that it's very cold in the plains biome, but it's just kind of nice to, to add them where they are 
way they're fit, especially um, on a big window. So some of these little windows on the lower level, like you can see the big window underneath this deck here, that is a perfect window to especially include some shutters on the edges. And now because we have a ladder right here, I'm not going to overhang the roof uh, on this side. I'm just going to overhang it on the very end here, um, just like that. And then I'm going to leave the rest just plain so that we can get right up here with the ladder uh, much easier. And then I'll continue the overhang right over there. And once I'm done with all that overhang, we can start working on the very top roof that will go over the bedrooms up top here. All right, I finished the nice roof eave all around, and I'll start working on the final roof peak here above where the bedroom's gonna go. So this is gonna be a 45 degree roof peak here. So I'm just gonna kind of start adding some beams all along the edges. And we can go ahead and fill in between them with the normal 45 degree roof planks and then adding that beam at the very tip of the roof peak and then I like to take the little 45s and that's where these things come in handy there it goes so I can place those two and then two more of the 45s right here and that's how I will do the entryways and then again just putting in these guys and putting in that roof beam all the way across the top. So this is definitely starting to look really, really awesome as a little upper level for the inn and tavern. Look at how cute and cozy this build is looking. <laughs> I'm definitely loving it. So let's get this little roof peak done over here the same way we did with that one. And then trim out the edge of this whole roof like we did on the lower level. And that will almost be the exterior of this build complete. All right, the inn and tavern build is now complete, at least for this episode anyway. There's a bit more that we will be adding on the interior and such. But I will give you the little tour and walk around. I'll first start with kind of the upstairs here. We've got the stairs on the outside. Nice little roof there. And we come in here. We've got the big dragon bed, two chests on both sides and the little bed with a chest on both sides here. And then continuing through, a nice big balcony over here. And we can walk right down here and go to the little fishing hut or go to some nice little outdoor seating on this wraparound deck behind the chimney here. So that's pretty nice. And then now down here, this is just a little stairway kind of going into the water here. But this is the lower level, so it's pretty simple right now. Again, we'll add some more, but some storage for food on both sides of the fire there. And the nice big hearth. Nice little round table. The fermenter here with the chest under it. The nice raven throne. And we do get comfort 15 in here with what we have right now. So that's actually pretty good. And with that said, that is the little inn and tavern build. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And you'll notice here on the front, there is a little sign up top. So I'm going to let you guys comment down below what the name of this inn and tavern should be. If there are no comments, we will name it before next episode, but I figured it'd be a cool way to kind of get the community thinking about what the names of these builds should be. So if you do have any names that you'd like to see on the inn and tavern, let us know. And with that said, I will see you in episode 20. Cheers, Vikings.